Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of rotating proxies in Scrapy. Rotating proxies are a way of masking our true IP address whenever we're making scraping requests. This is because you usually send out hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of requests when scraping a website, especially if it's big. Now this obviously looks very unusual and any decent website has a firewall set up where they check for this kind of unusual behavior because no normal human being could possibly send that many requests in such, such a short, short period of time. So obviously this kind of behavior is flagged and then you get banned. So to resolve this issue, what we do is create a list of proxies, a list of like 100 IPs and then we constantly rotate them. So if we have a thousand requests, instead of making all of those 1000 requests through one IP, we take a hundred IPs and then make 10 requests from each IP. That makes sense, right? So that's what we're gonna do in today's video, or at least we're gonna download and install a library that does all of this for us. We actually have very little to do. So how do we do this? Well, install this library over here, pip install scrapy rotating proxies. All right, I already have this installed, so it's just gonna say requirement already satisfied. Now, come to your settings.py file, and then you need to add in these two middlewares. All right, these are the two middlewares for the rotating proxy. All right, it's gonna rotate the proxy, and this is also some related middleware which basically uh, detects which proxies are getting banned because that, that can happen. Some proxies while executing can get banned. So you need to kind of detect that and then stop using those proxies. Uh, again, this is all automatically handled. And over here is another essential thing that you need to do. And this is actually the tricky part because these proxies are not gonna come out of thin air. You need to actually acquire these. And this is where things get difficult because this is obviously a extensive service and no one is just gonna give you high quality proxies for free. There are free proxies that you can get online and I even have a list of them right here that we're gonna use in today's tutorial, all right? You just need a file and you need to have the IP and the port number line by line and then you need to pass in the file path to that file to this setting to this variable all right and uh, these proxies are not going to be that great i'm going to run this code but the performance is going to be pretty terrible because a lot of a lot of these aren't even working uh, they sometimes are up sometimes they're not they're just slow in general uh, this is because they're free proxies i'm going to go ahead and, and run this code right now and let me just delete that Okay, now I'm gonna run this and then pause the video because I told you this this is gonna take some time um, and then we'll go through the output once, uh, you know, once it's complete, okay? All right, so now it's complete. Let's analyze some of this output. Okay, let's start from here. Basically, um, this library, the scrapy rotating proxies, it constantly maintains the health of all proxies. It starts out with 300, and then it detects which ones are failing and that might mean that that proxy is currently down or maybe it got blocked by the website and then basically it ranks them. Unchecked means the ones that haven't been categorized yet. Good means are one ones that are working. Dead means the ones that are not working. Not entirely sure what reanimated means. Um, all I know is that the stuff that goes into dead eventually turns into reanimated. All right. Anyways, so what happens here is that it tries one proxy, it turns out to be dead, okay? And it wastes some time checking it and retrying it and stuff like that. That's why it takes so long. It tries a dead proxy, it tries it again, and by default it tries five times. And this this takes like, this can take two minutes, two minutes of wasted time. And then over here, we ended up with four dead uh, proxies. Again, massive waste of time until we finally found one good proxy, one that was working. And then we began scraping from here. It scraped two pages and so on. It scraped three pages. Uh, looks like we found an another good URL. And over here also looks like we found another one because, yep, good six. 
we found in the end six good proxies, five dead ones, and three reanimated ones. Uh, well, I count these as eight dead, really, because to become reanimated, they were first dead. So yeah, that's like eight dead basically and six good. So you can already see that this is the state of free proxies. It worked and the output is right here. Even from the output here, I can see that it's incomplete. There were supposed to be 100 quotes, but there are only 50. And I think it crashed somewhere down the line, I think, over here. Now see, this is the kind of things you need to deal with in free proxies. It's not, it's not reliable and it may not give you the complete output. So if you're gonna use this method, then I recommend you get yourself some paid proper proxies, okay? And other than this, there's another option you can look at, which is proper services like Crawlera. And what they do is give you an API endpoint that you can integrate into Scrapey and then you know use that API to get proxies, to get IPs from them, ran randomized IPs. But obviously these are paid. And if you're going to be doing anything serious, then you'll need to use this because rotating proxies is one of the most effective ways of avoiding being banned on the internet. Okay, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.